Hello and welcome to today's Connection eBit on the latest feature in Connection, the Fleet tab. Once this feature has been enabled by the admin, users will see a new tab appear just to the right of My Vehicles. The Fleet tab will open up a whole suite of additional tools for the user to easily manage their fleet customers, store and update important information, and help increase overall fleet sales by keeping one step ahead. Expanding upon the My Vehicles and Favorite Vehicles tabs, the Fleet tab gives the user even more customization options than ever before, as well as allowing for unlimited fleet company and vehicle entries. Here we've started building our fleet. The company names are at the top of each section, and the top three vehicles are also displayed. Clicking the arrow beside the name will expand each list. Of course, we've made it easy to find your customer's vehicles by incorporating our Smart Search feature into the new tab. So with a few keystrokes, you can quickly filter out hundreds of vehicles to find the right one. There are several ways to begin adding vehicles and building your fleet. Using the mobile app, you can scan the VIN, and the vehicle will populate here under My Vehicles. From here, you can simply select the vehicle and click the star. This will allow you to either move the vehicle to your favorites or to the fleet. In this example, I'm going to set as a fleet vehicle. A pop-up window will prompt you to select the group name so I can add it to a pre-existing fleet name or I can create a new group name. Let's create a new one. Simply enter the group name here. And then if I want to add a fleet ID or a nickname, we'll call this car123. If I scan the VIN, it will populate here. If I want to enter the VIN later, I can. And any notes I want to add, I can add right in the box here. We'll call this the boss's car. Once I've got everything entered, I click Save. And now we can see that our fleet company name is here and the first vehicle entry is here. Another method for adding a vehicle to the Fleet tab is by entering it manually. To do so, I have to go into Admin Mode, which is right here. And once we've entered the Administration Mode, we have several other options. Here we're going to add a vehicle. In this case, I'm going to manually enter my vehicle by selecting the year, make, and model here. And the same box will pop up to prompt us for additional information for this vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and add this to Jim's Trucking again. At this time, only the group name is needed. Fleet ID and VIN can be added at a later date, as well as the notes. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we'll see a pop-up here under our fleet name as the top entry. And while we're in the admin mode, we can find our third method of importing vehicles here. To import a list of fleet vehicles, you'll simply click here for the reference application data file download. For this example, I've created a short list, but you can enter as many vehicles as you like. We choose the file type, then enter an email address. Once uploaded, you'll get a notification letting you know that it's been added. And here we can see that the new fleet company has been added with the first two vehicles here. If you've opted to include a VIN number with your vehicles that you've loaded, they will show up here in this VIN area as either green or red. Green meaning that the VIN has been validated. This ensures accurate information when ordering parts to avoid mix-ups and delays. Here, if I try to add a duplicate VIN that I've already added to my list, it will give me an error message letting me know that this already exists in the list. This will also save from duplicate entries and confusion. Also with VIN validation, I can check to make sure the VIN lines up with the vehicle that I've entered. Here I have a 2008 Chevy Express 2500 entered, and the VIN belongs to an Equinox, so something is clearly wrong. I'm able to choose the correct vehicle from the tab here, and it will overwrite my information. From the admin panel, I can also organize my fleet groups. I simply go to Sort Groups, and I click and drag the name of the fleet to where I'd like it. So if I want gas and electric at the top here in this case, I can move them towards the top. Now they populate first, and Jim's Trucking is at the bottom. If I want to edit a vehicle under the Fleet tab, I simply click on the Edit, and here I can add notes. Once I've finished with my edits, I simply click Save, and the new information will populate here with the vehicle. In addition to being able to sort the fleet company names, I can also sort the vehicles within each fleet. I simply drag the vehicle and move it to the position that I desire. This will allow easier access to vehicles that I service more frequently. And that's all we have for you in this edition of eBits. We hope it's been informative and educational. We'll see you next time.